Hey there, it's been a while. Like what I did with the background? Leave a like if you do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, well, sort of second part of the how to create custom Scream widgets series. Today we're going to recreate one of the most impressive Scream widgets that I've ever seen on Twitch, YouTube and even Mixer back when it was around. And of course, you already know it if you read the title. It's Shroud's 2019 to 2020 responsive webcam that keeps changing based upon a subscriber alert. Why did I say that this is only sort of like the second part of the whole series? Well that is because you don't need to necessarily watch the first part if you want to create this overlay. But let's stop talking and see how Shroud's overlay actually works. It basically consists of three parts. We have an image or a video of a webcam border. The choice if you want this animated is up to you. Then we have a transparent alert that is going to play every time that someone subscribes. And of course the logo that is going to change. By the way, the green coloring you just saw is not because I like the color, but it's because we can change it dynamically. I should also mention that all of the files that you're going to need on this installation are on my Discord server, so just go ahead and download them. If you don't like my simplistic style, then you can always buy a professional design on Fiverr, but make sure that you get the same free assets exported separately. Alright, you have it? Then let's go ahead and open up Stream Elements and create a 1080p canvas. Let's go ahead and start by importing our webcam file. If you want to import my template and want to change the color, then you want to create a custom widget and copy the code you can find on my Discord server into the editor. Now you can simply adjust the color by turning the saturation and brightness to 100% and changing the hue value. If you have your own webcam, then you don't need to do this step because you're not going to change the color anyway. Just import it regularly as an image or video. But regardless of the method, make sure that you set the size of it to 1920 times 1080. The next step is to create an alert box. Again, don't forget to change the size. Let's open it up and select subscriber if you are on Twitch or member if you are on YouTube. Then go ahead and import your alert webm file. If you want to, then you can add a custom sound to it, but I'm just going to remove it. The next step is to change the alert duration to 6 seconds. Now we want to click on enable custom CSS and open up the editor. From here it gets a bit more complicated. So if you don't know HTML and CSS yet, then I strongly recommend you to check out the first part. But don't worry, we're going over some settings anyway. So go ahead and copy the code for the alert box into each tab. Just for a better understanding, what does this code actually mean? Let's start off with the HTML. We have one global container that holds all of our assets. Of course, we have our alert webm, which is 1920 x 1080, as well as a text field that displays the username. By the way, here's a tip for your custom stream widgets. On stream elements, you can access the default video that you've selected here by entering this image inside curly brackets parameter. This one is a default value and not to confuse with this one down here because this one does not refer to anything that stream elements provides but it refers to the fields tab. The fields tab is basically our parameter tab which is also responsible for creating the corresponding menus in the editor itself. In here we have username input for example which we can access by entering it with some curly brackets. So basically our configuration now displays the name from the user provided by another inbuilt parameter on our HTML page. Let's move on to the CSS configuration. For the font I'm going to use the fin variant of Roboto, which I've imported here. We also want our text to be aligned in the middle and the font size should be 55 pixels. Remember the container IDs from the HTML page? What this code does is that it is basically creating a rectangle which serves as a mask for the text. Basically everything outside of the box is invisible and it is very helpful for appearing text. Down here we see another fields parameter that contains a color for the username as well as two CSS animations that are responsible for the sliding in and fading out of the text. To explain the parameters, our fading up animation which you can find down here is lasting one second with an ease out keyframe curve. And the same applies for the fade out flip animation. The 2.8 seconds here are the waiting time between the two animations. So it's basically one second animation, then the program waits for 2.8 seconds, then it continues with the second one second animation. The animation fill mode of course is forward because we don't want our animation to play backwards and the animation play state is paused because we want to trigger it manually. The settings down here are for changing the color of our animation. So now, let's move on to the more interesting part. How do we trigger the alert? Well, it's pretty simple actually. We just want to play our video when the alert box is triggered. So in order for the video to play, we first need to tell JavaScript where it can find it. 
We can then use an event listener that triggers the things that we want to happen. That would be 1. To load the video in order to prevent hiccups or stuttering and 2. To play the video. But we also shouldn't forget about our username CSS animations. So let's create a function for it that sets the animation play state from pause to running. And after that we want to play the video. And yeah, that was the whole alert setup. If you also want the user subscribed months displayed, then you can add curly brackets amount as a parameter and make sure to set up different variations for like 3 months, 6 months, etc. Just copy the default alert and change the hue value to something else. Now comes the final part, the changing logo. So let's go ahead and create another custom widget. Again, you want to copy the code from the Discord into the Stream Elements editor. Be aware to pick the right version either for a static or an animated logo. After the copying, you can upload three different logo variations in the Logo tab. If you want more variations, then open the editor, go to the Fields tab and set your desired amount. Be careful to set the commas right, or otherwise it won't work. Then go ahead and open up the JavaScript tab. Ok, before any of you code gurus type in the comments, alright. I know this isn't the best solution on how this can be done and even I know how to code it better. Well, right now. But my week is pretty busy, so I just took my old code that I programmed like one or two years ago, I don't remember, and just went with that. So just you know, it's not perfect, it might get fixed over some time, not promising anything, but yeah, that's just how it is. So basically what this code does is that if an event is triggered and it's a sponsor latest, that's a YouTube member by the way, then it checks if the amount of months being subscribed is over free for a free month membership. And if the set logo is not logo free right now, so that it doesn't refresh the image when it's the same logo anyway, then check if it is greater than 2 months and smaller than 3 months and so on and so on and so on. If you need more months, like 5 for example, then just copy and paste the if statements, set the ranges, but be aware that the highest month should always be on top. Now as I said before, this is a very primitive approach and not elegant whatsoever. But hey, it works. And whenever you are watching this video, it might have been already updated. I think I will do it at some point. So if you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and even a sub. Also, if you've liked this video, then you certainly want to check out this one. But otherwise, all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. I'll see you around.